Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. We've been opening Bowman Chrome a lot the past few days. This new release came out last Wednesday. We just did a 4K break last night. We've got some more for you today, but it's a different product. This is the light version. So, so far, we've shown you the master cases. I've opened six of those master cases so far. We showed you an HTA case with the three cards in it per pack, and now... We are showing you the light version. So there's five cards per pack, 10 packs, a grand total of 50 cards per box. And this is the only place that you can find the black and white mini diamond parallels in Bowman Chrome is if you pick up one of these boxes. So we're going to open all these up right now and see what we can find. Thank you very much for joining us. By the way, we have a triple upload day today. We have this one. We've got a Walmart video for you coming up a little bit later this afternoon. Then we have a auction tonight. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And very important that you tap that notification bell, that little bell next to the subscribe button. Click it to all so that whenever I post a video or go live, you get notified via the YouTube app. So let's go ahead and start this off. We've got eight participants. Riley is going to be our first participant. Good luck to you, Riley. By the way, if you'd like to participate in any of our breaks or bind our live streams, check us out on Patreon. It's $4.99 per month. Or if you would just rather support the channel, that's one way you could do it as well. And higher tiers, get monthly boxes and packs sent. There is a link in the description to this video. So, all right, here we go, Riley. We've got a lot of boxes to do and not a lot of time. I like to do these videos in about 20 minutes or so because I know your time is precious. So rather than going pack by pack, I'm going to open them all. It's just like 50 cards. I'll just open all the packs of the box and we'll look through. Um, I will take a second and show you the odds and the no purchase necessary stuff in a little more detail as I usually do in these new release preview videos after we go through Riley's first pack. So most of you are pretty familiar with the Saturday showdown that we did last night. A whole bunch of great cards. I just shipped up or packaged up and, and shipping out all of those tomorrow. So I got a chance to look at those cards a little more in depth. All right, so here we go. We got Aaron Judge on the top. There's you, Darvish. Nick Lofton, 40-man futures card. And here comes our first one. It's Julio Carreras. These are the black and white diamond refractors that you can only get with this product. Kevin Maid, Hassan Kim. Both of these guys were big names last night in the showdown as they ended up winning a whole case for somebody because of the low numbered card. There's Key Brian Hayes. That is a short print right there. Short print refractor photo variation. Pretty nice one. Jefferson Caro first. Get that one sleeved up for you, Riley. We have our first numbered parallel. It's a Keybert Ruiz 261. There's Adley Rushman. There's the regular Key Brian Hayes, if you're wondering what the regular one looks like. And this is a very good one right here. Shailene Polanco. His autographs, his base autos are about $100 a piece. So a black and white mini is uh, going to be a very, very good card there for you. Uh, I actually will look that one up here in just one second. I've got eBay off to the side. There's Malcolm Nunez first, black and white. Jose Abreu. So kind of a an interesting idea by Tops to uh, make this. Starling Aguilar first. This is the only place you can get these black and white um, mini. I'm not, I keep wanting to say minis, but the black and white diamond parallels. Now, the Starlin Caster, let's check it out just to kind of get an idea of how much something like that is going to be worth. Or Starlin Caster, Starlin Polanco. Sorry, it's early in the morning here, Sunday morning. I was thinking about going out to flea markets today, but I decided just to stay in. I see that this one is uh, listed right now. Someone's got it up for $200 as a buy it now, uh, but somebody else has it up for bids and it's at 20 bucks. So a wide range there. One thing you should always do is go to eBay recently sold. And I see it sold for 40 bucks. So that's uh, much more of a range for us. So let's show you the next box. Here are the odds as promised. Not sure what the odds are of finding an autograph. I hope we can find some autos in here. I don't like to linger too long and waste time as I read that silently maybe this will be a little bit better view because that cellophane was in the way you could always pause that and go through and um see what uh see what's there and here's the no purchase necessary stuff as well so our next participant is larry Aulis. best of luck to you larry let's see what we can find for you 
in box number two. If you're wondering what the price is on these, they are $210 on Steel City Collectibles and most of the other sites like Blowout Cards. So $210 per box. I was able to sell mine for $189. And you may be able to get it for around there on eBay, right around $200 or a little bit less. Just got to look around a little bit. Hope everybody's having a nice Sunday. Triple upload day like I mentioned. Tomorrow we've got Hoarding the Hobby on Mystery Box Monday. It's a new product. Literally called Hoarding the Hobby. So tune in for that. Our next live stream, if you're wondering, is tonight. It's an auction. And our next big case break is going to be Spectra Baseball. That's looking like it's coming up on Wednesday. I'll put that for sale for soon on Patreon. There's a Sam Huff 146 is the number on that one. We've got Julio Carreras again. That's the second time we've pulled that one. So a repeat there. There's Max Meyer. We have one of these guys, Bowman Ascensions. These are case hits in the master cases. So this is a pretty good card right there. Bobby Witt Jr. Jefferson, Jefferson Caro. Did we pull that one already too? I'm starting to have some deja vu. What is up with this? So we have a repeat box, Shailene Polanco. And... There's Malcolm Nunez. Did we pull that one as well? I'm going to have to go back and check Malcolm Nunez. And what is up with that? The Joey Bart, by the way, is a photo variation. So Starling Castro, if you don't believe me, let's go back to Riley's stack and see. There's the Shailene Polanco. There's the Jefferson Caro. What? It's the exact same box? That should never happen. Man, I'm a little bit worried now that every box is going to be the same. I always take the, the best cards and put them on top of the stack so that I don't have to look through it again to go back and find all the cards I want to sleeve or top load. All right, Michael. At least the Shailene Polanco is a nice one. That's a $40 card. Let's see what the next box holds. Is this going to be a repeat? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Well... If you really like Shailene Polanco, just buy a, a box of Bowman Chrome. It's guaranteed in every box, at least after the sample size of two. We'll see if we can dispel that rumor with this next box. Total of eight boxes in this video. There's Hedbert Perez. Wander Franco, that would be a nice black and white mini. Luis Medina. We'll see, though, because it's not every pack that has a black and white mini parallel. There's only five per box. All right, Michael, let's see if you can switch it up for us a little bit. Here we go. There's a purple shimmer of, of course, it's Malcolm Nunez. <laughs> Eduardo Garcia, first. Black and white. There's Josiah Gray. So we are out of the, uh, the repeats, finally. Getting some different ones. Ryan Mountcastle, rookie card. Christian Hernandez is a nice one. There's Ed Howard, nice prospect for the Cubbies. Black and white diamond. Nick Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Gonzalez is a very good prospect for the Buccos. Marco Luciano is one of the top prospects in all of baseball. So that's a great card right there. Black and white diamond. Still no autographs so far. There's Kevin Made first for the Cubbies as well. And I think that, oh, there's a nice Andrew Vaughn out of 499. He's definitely one of the top rookies to keep in mind for the 2021 class. I like Andrew Vaughn a lot. I think he's going to be a big time slugger. So, Michael, thank you very much. Next box up. This one is for Mr. Jack Holland. Let's see what we can find with Jack. On this Sunday, little piece of styrofoam there to keep the packs from moving around a bit. These boxes remind me so much of the mega boxes from Bowman Chrome last year. I actually have a couple of those left over. I had to do a double take in this game and I was like, wait, did they send me mega boxes? Because I wanted the uh, Bowman Light. And upon further review, that's what this was. I don't know if they're going to do Bowman Chrome mega boxes for, you know, on the retail front. We'll see. You know, let us know in the comments. Typically, with retail, sometimes you got to wait a week, two weeks, three weeks until they get caught up and get all that stuff shipped out to the retail locations. I still haven't seen any fat packs of Series 2 from Pops, and that came out months ago. All right, Jack, let's see what we can find for you. All right, so we've got Po Yu Chen first. That's the black and white diamond variation. 
And there's a nice key, Brian Hayes. There's Shea Langelier's Speckle out of 299. Not a bad card right there. Manuel Beltre. By the way, these aren't numbered. If you're wondering, the numbers of all Bowman Chrome cards are always on the front of the cards, and the black and white diamond are not numbered. Next up, it's Drew Waters. There's Jefferson Caro again, Malcolm Nunez. He's been all over this video, as has been Shailene Polanco. Francisco Alvarez, nice catching prospect with the Mets. Catcher of the future right there. His autos are worth a good bit of money. Jazz Chisholm out of $2.99. Uh, there's an Ascension, Spencer Torkelson. We'll take that one. And Adley Rushman, black and white, which is a very good card. Former number one overall pick a few years ago back in, what, 2019? He will be likely, hopefully, a major... And for some reason there, there's an alarm set on my phone. I guess I accidentally didn't turn off this morning, so got cut off there. I, I was just talking about Adley Rushman, so here's Jack Stack again. These are all the main cards. Uh, it happened right at the end of Jack Stack, luckily. So, Jack, here's all your cards again. These are all just the base cards. I don't know what the heck happened. I did have an alarm. I was thinking about going out to flea markets this morning and maybe heading out to maybe an indoor flea market or antique malls, but I just decided to stay in and work on shipping cards. So I've been working on the Saturday showdown all morning and getting those out. So Jack, thank you very much. Moving on to our next box, box number five. It's for Michael Miller. Best of luck to you, Michael. Spot number five. Jonathan Stein is up next. Let's see what we can find for Michael here. Robert Hassel's on the back. There's Luis Medina. Only one week left in the baseball season. The season ends next Sunday, October the 3rd. Pretty excited to see how these playoff races are going to shape up. American League wildcard is one to watch. With the Mariners, Red Sox... Yankees, Blue Jays, all fighting for those two spots. They're all within about two games of each other. Another good one is the Braves versus Phillies as they fight it out. Looks like the Cardinals have wrapped up the National League wild card, so not much going on there. Also, the National League West will be interesting to see if the Dodgers can pull it off in the closing moments. They're just a little bit behind the Giants. It could happen. There's Micka Bell. That's a black and white mini. Um, there's Nick Gonzalez, Gonzalez again. There's Braden Shoemake, 140. Ronnie Mauricio, black and white. There's a George Springer out of 299. Christian Hernandez is a nice one. There's Riley Green, black and white. Jeter Downs. And a black and white of Maximo Acosta. We've got three boxes left after this one. There's Robert Paulson out of 150. Like that card. Alexander Mojica first is the last one. I like the Paulson because of the green border, which goes so well with the Oakland A's uniform. Moving on to the next box. It's for Jonathan Stein, box number six. Good luck to you, Jonathan. Let's see what we can find right now. Michael Hafey's in the on-deck circle. Pedro Leon, that would be a very nice black and white diamond if that's going to be the case. Pulled a few of his autographs last night. He's one of the top names in this that you can find as well from the Astros. There's Jeremy De La Rosa, Austin Wells, Grayson Rodriguez, Wilman Diaz. You can kind of tell what our options are here because you can see the cards on the back. And I do believe, I think that black and white diamond's on the back of these packs. Let's see. Oh, no, it's right in the middle. That last pack looked like it had two. Let's see what we've got. In there's Pedro Leon. Unfortunately, not a black and white diamond. Tristan Casa. I still haven't found a single autograph yet in this. There's a Nick Lodolo purple shimmer out of 250. Jordan Adams is the next black and white as it slips on out of my hands. Uh, we've got a Trent DeVoe, Randy Rosarena, uh, Alexander Vizcaino first, black and white. Let's see what else there's. Tatis. And there's a first of Emmanuel Rodriguez. We've got one more coming up. For you here and there's a drew romo speckle and a miguel blaise for jonathan stein so jonathan thank you very much appreciate that only two boxes left of bowman chrome light and man i was hoping we'd find at least a couple autographs but not a single one yet 
guess I have to go back and then maybe after the video sit down and slow read those odds and find what the odds of finding an autograph are. Here we go for Michael and Skinner Foods is coming up next. Let's see what we can find for Michael. Only got one box left there after this one. And then I'll go and film the uh, Walmart video, get that one all edited up and open up $200 worth of Walmart cards for Blake and Ben in our second video of the day. Pretty busy day around here on this Sunday. Hopefully you're able to watch all the videos and participate in our live stream tonight. I don't think there's a lot of games going on on Sunday nights, so it'll be something to check out in case your team's not playing. And we'll be giving away some free cards as well during the auction. All right, here we go. Michael Hafey, let's see what we can find for you. So we've got a Milcar Perez first, black and white diamond. And there's a Jordan Adams out of 199. This time he doesn't slip out of my hand. Carlos Colmenares first. Got a purple of Jose Abreu out of 250. There's an Alec Thomas black and white diamond. Be nice to find a Torkelson black and white. There's Oswald Parasa, Victor Costa, one of the top names of this class. We got a yellow coming up, and I was hoping it was going to be an auto. It's Luisa Rise out of 75, and Jared Kelly, black and white, is the last one. So we're down to our final box. Michael, thank you, and this one is for Skinner Foods. Whoops, best of luck to you, Skinner Foods. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick look at Bowman Chrome Light because... If you're like me, you're like, what the heck is this all about? We've got three different options for Bowman Chrome, which is a very, very hot release. The price of this is, I think the HGA boxes have jumped from $229 to $325 on Steel City Collectibles in the course of five days. Master boxes have gone from $209 to $275 in the course of five days. So everybody's all about this uh, product. Mostly, I think the autographs of some of the big boys like Luis Rodriguez are feeling this. And, um, you know, I haven't really seen much movement on the price of this on that website, Still City. It's, I think it's, it was at 209 when this first came out, and it's still at 209 And that might just be because the autographs are very few and far between with this. We haven't found a single one yet. We'll see if we can find one in here. There's a Robert Hassel, black and white. He's a nice prospect for the Padres. There's Elrod. We've got a blue coming up of Drew Romo out of 150. Max Meyer, top pick a couple years ago in the draft. Uh, got another one coming up. It's Luis Medina first. I think two more. There's Christian Santana. And the final card of the video is going to be Maximo Cost out of 125. It's Wander. Wander Franco black and white diamond parallel is a nice one right there for Skinner Foods. So thank you very much, Skinner Foods. Thanks to everybody for participating in this, and thanks to all of you for watching. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday, and I hope you continue to have a great Sunday and can check out all three of our uploads today. This one, our Walmart video, and... Also, our auction. So if I don't see you later on, I'll hopefully see you all tomorrow for Mystery Box Monday. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.